Hey guys, how's it going? Sol here, and welcome back to episode 23 of my Ultimate Iron Man progress. I decided to start out between episodes by seeing if I could attempt Dagonoth Rex solo. I had a friend that was willing to come and camp Supreme and Prime for me while I killed Rex, uh, just to have an easier time setting everything up, because once you're set up, it's you're pretty much good to go. However, he was not online at the time, so I decided to go ahead and try it for myself, to just to see if I could do it. And the first trip did not go amazingly well, as you'll see. I ended up getting into the setup spot with zero food left and full health, but uh, I was somehow able to pull off a few kills, which was enough to validate the idea that I could solo Rex, and I decided to keep coming back. So, um, yeah, my strategy was Still had to carry the thrown axes and the pet rock, so a little more clamped down inventory space than if I would have come with a duo partner. But turned out to be not a deal breaker, uh, for me at least, because I was able to pull off kills, like I said. Uh, the biggest pain was the setup, because doing the ladder hopping method, you tank a hit from, like you take a range hit, usually, and it's not so great. I don't know how high it can hit. But this is a very dangerous boss for UIM because if you die, getting back here is a massive pain. And for that particular reason, I made sure my looting bag was very empty prior to this episode. I think it had like 12 things in it. So if you do the math between my looting bag and my inventory and my equipment, I have enough room for everything in one trip. So if I did end up dying, I'd be able to get back here, hopefully, get all my stuff in one inventory, teleport out, and be in the clear. Uh, fortunately, I never died. I don't know if there were any close calls. I tried to play it as safe as I could. Once again, the ladder method was the biggest uh, difficulty of this whole situation because, as you can see, I gotta hop down and back, hope that Prime and Supreme walk away, and that I can hug the southern edge of the island there to walk around Rex. If you've done this as an Iron Man or a lower level main or something, you know the situation. Anyways, I was able to, once again, uh, finally set up a Rex kill with zero food left. I don't know if I ended up getting swordfish drops or if I just got lucky on the minion hits, but I ended up staying here for four or five kills and just kept coming back. Uh, after every trip, I would take the bones I got to the Ectofuntus, because Dagonoth bones are 500 XP each at the Ectofuntus, which is absolutely amazing, if you ask me. So, I ended up getting 51 and later 52 prayer as well from all the bones that I uh, ended up getting during this whole foray. I also ended up getting a rock shell plate that I wore for the time being, because it had better range defense uh, than the torso, and it's a bit safer to keep my torso in my house, so I did that. And I also, in an upcoming clip here, picked up a tooth half for the loops that I had in my looting bag, so I was able to finish off the crystal key as well. That being said, after this next clip here with the tooth half, I'm going to transition to live commentary, so hope you guys enjoy. I forgot to start recording, but this is probably the best I have had so far in setting this up. And setup is usually what costs the most amount. Like, look at this. I used one piece of food. This is nuts, dude. Honestly. Like, I almost feel like I'm forgetting something now, because things are going so well. For a second I thought Prime was straying over there. But <laughs> Yeah, we use one piece of food, one dose of prayer potion to get in here. I, I went down the ladder once. It was perfectly set up, but I reflexively went back up the ladder. And then it was good after that. I was like, I got to take this opportunity because, holy crap, now I'm getting chunked by the spin lips. Um, like, it was perfectly clear, like... 
uh, Supreme was just out of range, and I was like, better take this chance because Prime was far enough away that I could just pray range and then sneak my way back around under, but yeah, this is probably the luckiest I've had set up so far. Uh, I guess I'll see... Eh, I'll probably just end up like cutting this clip or something. You gotta be kidding me. Of course it happens when I'm doing live commentary. <laughs> Oh, we got a ring. Not the one we wanted, but collection log, I guess. That's going to be a, the saddest elk. A high ox for 6k, but we're going to give it the pathetic low elk, probably. Oh, man. I guess I'm going to cut here, keep this as live commentary, and then talk over some of the rest of the stuff. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap. <sighs> Got it. But two kills apart. Warrioring, B ring. I have to stay to see if I'm getting a dragon axe. Holy crap. I can't believe I got this, honestly. That's kind of nutty. Well, <laughs> very nice. I am super happy with how that turned out. What a drop. That's an interesting one, isn't it? Clue scroll, hard clue, and a nature talisman. I don't even want to think about how rare that is, but I also kind of do. I'm going to put the rings in the bag for now because I'm going to need to shuffle things around uh, in the near future anyways, and I need the space for uh, taking care of these bones. These five bones should get me up to 52 prayer, which is a requirement for the Varrock Hard Diary. Uh, if I check that now, I think we're close to being able to complete that, yeah. I think Hunter is the only thing holding us back, and we're a couple levels away from that. Um, it says 66 here, you actually need 69 as an Iron Man to be able to catch the thing you need for a spot of your cape, uh, versus normal accounts can just buy the furs that you need and trade them in. Um, yeah, the prayer XP is very nice from these. I mean, at 500 XP a kill, that's pretty great, and it doesn't take too long uh, to do all this considering how much it actually is. Uh, and it's one of the reasons I was prepared for this grind to go on. Or, it wasn't even really a grind. I was prepared for this to become a grind and, you know, get to like 200 kills because that would have been 100k XP in prayer. Would have gotten us to, you know, close to 60. And the more prayer, the higher our prayer level is before we have to start pest control, the better. Because your XP rate at pest control will scale with your level. Another thing that's nice about this is that I'm pretty sure by doing this we're building up Ecto tokens, which we need to charge the Bone Crusher in the future. But I'm not entirely sure about that, uh, because I don't really know anything about the Bone Crusher in old school, so that's something I'm leaving to figure out later. Now I can add a Karamja task while we have this Nature Talisman, and then just dropping it immediately because we don't need it for anything else. I'm going to attempt to do this hard clue. And the first step requires us to buy a bunch of stuff, pretty much. Rune plate body, pretty expensive. Mystic cat, decently expensive. Bone spear is cheap, but it's going to be over 100k, I think, or around. Uh, hopefully, we can finish it. I elked my rune gloves because the next time I do combat, I'm probably going to pick up some barrows gloves. And I'm now going to elk the rock shell plate body as well. Um, it is a rare drop, but we are never going to have use for it. I pretty much only kept it instead of alking it immediately because I had a higher range defense bonus than the uh, fighter torso. Speaking of, I'm probably going to out the rune shield at some point as well. I don't know if that's going to be now or... Well, actually, it's probably going to be after I get a defender, so not now. Uh, but it is nice to get a bit of a rebate on that. And same thing is coming up for the Ibn staff because I'm not going to Barrows with it. I probably won't go to Barrows until I get like a Trident or something, and so I don't really have a use for this beyond Rex. Rex was the main reason I was keeping it, so 
time to get a little money back from that after this glue squirrel. And I just walked all the way here to make planks for our stash, or for this stash unit I need to make without chopping the teak logs first. All right, I just shoveled around my looting bag because I need better, or I need to melee gear to finish out this clue because I think that's the only way I'm taking down the wizard that is on this step. And it is time for me to out the Ivan staff because I don't really have a use for it anymore. Um, I was pretty much only saving it for Rex. And because it's untradeable, it would permanently take up a spot in my inventory versus something like the Berserker Ring. Even if I get it imbued, I can always unimbue it and put it in the looting bag if I need to. That being said, we are approaching a point where if we need like a ton of inventory space, we can always die to his spory and then selectively take things out quite easily. Um, but it'll be nice to get rid of this anyways, especially since, like I said, don't really have use for it anymore. So this is going to be a nice 51k out of the 200 I spent on it. There we go. Kind of painful, but oh well. If we need it back, we can always get it back. It's like less than an hour worth of thieving to get all that money back. Um, I'm also going to keep my teaks out for a little bit. Um, probably the crystal key as well. I'm going to put the rings back in. I don't know when I'm going to do Slayer, um, but I will, of course, use the ring, uh, the Bridger ring, that is, for Slayer whenever I get to that point. Um, let's see. But my mahoganies are done, which is why I want to keep that. And I think I'm just going to open the crystal chest after this clue for the actual uh, achievement diary task. So. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Dragon Center for that, probably just put it in the bag since we have so much space. Anyways, I'm going to go plant these, check my mahoganies, and be on our way with this clue. Oh, Juno was ready to hear a story, and it must have been a good one because we got 178 tiers. See how much that is? Over 10k room crafting XP. We almost got a second level from that, we're only 300 XP away. That is crazy, 301 XP from base 50s. That's insane, but it's probably going to have to hold until next episode, I would imagine. Uh, I probably will go to the library to pick that up because I don't want to be so close when I come to tears for the next time. Um, anyways, I have to go check my mahoganies now. I realize I keep saying that uh, I'm going to do something, and then I have a clip of me doing it. Like, I didn't need to say that I was going to do it ten times. To make this clip a little more relevant, though, there's always something a little stressful about having like way too much miscellaneous stuff in your inventory or like like right now I've got like four different tasks worth of stuff in my inventory that I'm trying to complete in a short period of time and it's nice to you know clear up that space item by item but you know when you first start out it's kind of I don't know stressful in a weird way but not like a super stressful kind of way I guess that last clip made no sense but you know it does make sense over 46k farming XP from these mahogany trees. And now that I'm growing teaks, um, hopefully the last three that I plant survive, and I'm going to try to ensure that as much as I can. I'm not going to pay for protection because they have like a 95% chance of growing, but I'm just going to hope that enough of them stay alive that I can do the like 1.5 tick, whatever, in case I do want to try that in the future for construction. All right, casket finished up. We have logs probably from getting to the jungle. Anyways, I'm going to... Oh, I need this out. I'm going to out this water battle staff I got from the wizard and open this up. I got a master clue and a load of alcables. <laughs> a magic short bow. Holy crap. That's actually amazing, I'm pretty sure. The magic short bow, I mean. The master is... Probably literally impossible for me to complete, but these are all some very nice alcables. Can I alk these right off the bat, see how much I get, and I'm pretty sure the magic short bow is a huge upgrade over the uh, the bone crossbow. I might need these uh, for like a clue step at some point, but oh well, I'd rather liquidate it right now. Master step, can we do it? Um, no. Ah, <laughs> this is the Ancient Staff clue, and I really don't want to have the Ancient Staff, not to mention I don't have three Gothics items, nor do I think I can get three Gothics items. Either way, hang on, piles, 
This is actually like surprisingly completable, but I am going to drop it because uh, the chances of me being able to complete it are pretty much impossible. And I've decided I'm going to go ahead and crack open the crystal chest for the medium Falador task and, you know, coal is not very useful, so I'm just going to end up dropping that. And I'll put the Dragonstone in my bag in case I need it in the future. I don't know when I'm going to actually be able to do anything with it. Probably not for quite a long time, so um, if it gets too bad, I'll just end up dropping it because you can get Dragonstones from the Wilderness Rogues Castle, which shouldn't be too hard by the time I actually need them, so. So big jump between clips here, but I have uh, sorted everything out in the loading bag, put all my combat related stuff in it, um, of course seeds and potions as well, and I've got myself set up for next episode in which I'm going to be doing more birdhouse runs and a bit more skilling. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing a decent bit of mining and possibly some smithing as well. If there's time left over after that, or possibly in the episode after that, I will do some more woodcutting and construction. So, um, perfect time to start mixing in birdhouse runs as well, especially since I need a higher hunter level for the Varrock Hard Diary. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have anything you want to say. And if you liked this episode, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe.